You read that title right, ladies and gentlemen. We got Tears of the Kingdom early. Came in yesterday on Saturday. We're filming this on Sunday. Uh, don't worry, there's not going to be any spoilers in this video. I want to give my impressions and thoughts on the game so far now that I've gotten several hours in. So don't worry, it's not going to be no spoilers, nothing like that. I don't need Nintendo coming from my booty. So let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here in Smash, the ever-living boo-boo stain. Off of that like and subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100th ladder. So, first and foremost, like I said in the title, um, or not in the title, but in the intro, uh, I'm not going to be getting into any sort of spoilers. I'm not going to be talking about stuff that Nintendo has not already revealed at this point in time of me recording. I like Nintendo. I've been playing their games for years. I'm also a Yu-Gi-Oh! based channel, so I've got videos from like over 10 years ago on this channel. I don't need Nintendo coming from my ass, like real talk. I don't need none of that. Nintendo, I like the game. I like you. Just just leave me be. I'm not going to be, you know, stepping on your toes because next thing I know, I'm going to be like Gary Bowser up in jail and uh, I'm going to have to make sure that I don't drop that Korok seed or that soap. <laughs> if you catch my drift, your boy won't survive. I mean, talk about GG no re. Uh, that, that's going to be a best of one scenario like at Master Shits, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. Now you're probably wondering, Avery, you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! based channel. Why the hell are you covering this? Well, I know a lot of my friends personally that play Yu-Gi-Oh! also enjoy Nintendo and things like that. So I figured it's not Yu-Gi-Oh! related, but it's, you know, anime related-esque, whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to shut up and go ahead and talk to you about the game. Um, so first of all, is this worthy of being a $70 title. Now, if, in case you haven't been keeping up with all of the craziness with that, basically Nintendo, when the pre-orders first opened, they were charging $59.99, $60. Then they raised it to $69.99, $70. $69 yes, this game is so fucking worthy of being $70. It's not just an expansion. I've seen people say, oh, this is just Breath of the Wild DLC. It's just an expansion. No, stop that shit. This is definitely worthy of being a AAA game, $70 title, not just an expansion. If you enjoyed Breath of the Wild and the mechanics in that game, you're going to love this game because it is essentially Breath of the Wild 2, just with a different title name. Um, because, I mean, it looks like Breath of the Wild, plays like Breath of the Wild, just you have, the, excuse me, the different abilities and things like that, um, you know, with the fuse ability and stuff that Nintendo's already showed off. And so, you know, graphically wise, it's, it's still the same. You know, all of that is the same. Um, I'm sure people are going to be wondering how the hell did you get the game early? I pre-ordered mine off of Amazon. And so like RGT85 was just talking about in a video that he posted a couple hours ago, some people have been getting their game early and I can attest to that. Yes, mine came early in the mail yesterday on Saturday. Uh, so for those of you saying, well, it couldn't have possibly happened. You're lying because you're filming this and it's a Sunday. No, I got the game on Saturday where I live in Florida. We get mail from every day but Sunday. I had to think about that for a second. Sorry, I'm exhausted. But anyways, um, yeah, so we don't get mail on Sunday. So it came in yesterday. Uh, I just didn't feel like going to my local game shop. So I'm like, let me just get it off Amazon. Lo and behold, it came in. I was like, holy shit. So I, I played for hours upon hours. Like I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, and it's, it's amazing. It's great. It's definitely worthy of being that $70 title, like I said. But if you're able to get the game on a discount, like if you have the GameStop Power Up Reward Pro thing and you get your $5 a month coupon thing, use it for that, you know, then you still have to pay taxes and stuff. So you're not paying 74 after tax. Or if you've got games to trade in so that you're not paying that full 70, absolutely go for that. Um, I hate the fact that, you know, games are 70 bucks now, but it is what it is. I wish that it would have been 60. With the amount of content that I've seen so far in the game, it definitely does feel like it's worth that $70 value. Still wish it was 60 though. Um, in regards to, I guess, how the game feels, you know, gameplay wise, I mean, like I said, it feels like Breath of the Wild. Uh, the new enemies are awesome. The story so far is, I'm going to say it's one of the best in the series. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to spoil nothing, but from all of the Zeldas I've played, and I have played every single one, including Zelda 2, I haven't finished all of them per se, um, but I've played them all. And this definitely does feel like the best story, at least several hours in, so far in the series. Um, if you like a good Zelda story, I mean, you're you're gonna get this in this game. Uh, I'm trying to avoid spoilers in case you can't tell. Um, something that I really liked with the opening hours, and this isn't gonna be a spoiler, I'm gonna make sure I word this carefully. I will say that they pulled a page out of Metroid 
3D Metroid, like the first person Metroid. If you catch my drift on that, then you know what I mean. Um, at the same time, I don't want to spoil anything. So I'll, I'll leave it at that when it comes in regards to the opening hours. And yes, Zelda still looks fine as fuck. <laughs> For all of the dudes that were thirsty over Zelda and Breath of the Wild, um, yeah, I just, I was like, oh, they, they kept the design. Awesome. Sweet. Um, <laughs> it's, it's weird. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so I just, I thought that that was just really funny. Cause I'm like, okay, yeah, a lot of memes are going to probably be made out of this. Um, the voice acting, Mwah. fantastic. 10 out of 10. A lot of people were complaining right after Breath of the Wild released that the voice acting was kind of hit or miss. Um, I feel like that Nintendo definitely took that to heart. And they were like, you know, listen, you, you got to rank it up. You got to rank it up to 11 or whatever the the, the, the term is. Um, and it's it's great. It's fantastic. Um, this is public knowledge, so I can say this, obviously. But the voice actor for Ganondorf is the same guy that played a hit in Dragon Ball Super. And he's fantastic, bro. Like, if, if moving forward, they're going to keep on doing, like, voice acted characters... They have to keep whatever his name was. I don't remember off the top of my head that played Hit in Dragon Ball Super. He he's Ganondorf now. Like that that's what everybody will see him as is Ganondorf. I think he oh yeah, he also did the voice of Levi in Attack on Titan. Because I remember looking him up before and I'm like, oh, he did Levi and Hit. So fantastic voice actor. He's amazing. Uh if you you remember who I'm talking about name-wise, be sure to drop it in the comments if you know who I'm talking about. He's fantastic. Love him. Just 10 out of 10. The performances from everybody so far has been 10 out of 10. Like I said, I am several hours in, but I'm trying to avoid any kind of spoilers and things. Um, I haven't really ran into any sort of frame rate issues. I know that someone had posted a video, I think it was Nintendo Prime, who was talking about that there's like a day one patch or something for, um, what do you call it? Like the, the frame rate issues, because I know I was watching Zeltic who got early gameplay and there was some massive frame drop issues. Like if you remember in Breath of the Wild when you would go into the Korok forest and just standing there where the fucking Master Sword is and the game's chugging along at like 20 to 30 FPS. Then when you're out in the wild, it's like back up to 60. They seem to have fixed that a good bit. Um, I've noticed, I wanna say like a couple times that there seem to be some frame rate issues. Maybe they'll put a patch out for that. I hope that they do because it, it really does kind of take you out of the experience, at least for me, because it just feels so noticeable. Um, but other than that, it's a fantastic game. I'm loving every second of it. Um, I really want to avoid spoilers because I don't want Nintendo coming after my ass. Um, but TLDR, the game is great, plays great. Um, I love the opening hours. Like it's, it, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a bait and switch, but just how they went about it was just really cool and I didn't see it coming. I haven't watched any of the spoilers. I don't know nothing about this game. I've been staying off the internet when it comes to that. I've been avoiding all of this because I, I, I wanted to be surprised and I'm genuinely surprised and it's fan-freaking-tastic. So guys, let me know down in the comments, did you also get the game early? Don't spoil it for nobody. I'm going to be keeping an eye on these comments. Don't, don't spoil anything. If you spoil it, I'm just going to delete the comment. I'm going to be really monitoring the comments to make sure. Nintendo, please don't come after my ass. Me, me and the Ultra Ball cannot afford to go to court uh, so I'm not talking about nothing that Nintendo hasn't already mentioned. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.